Hold that faith. Hold that. Hold that. Hold that faith. Uh. Never. Never stop. Whoa. You can't stop a man who believes in God. No, no, no. You can't stop. No, no, no. Having faith all the way to the top. Thank you, God, for all that you do. You can't stop a man who. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to CCU Tower Scorpio. How y'all doing? How y'all doing? It's been a nice couple days. I've been taking time around the house and the family. How y'all doing? Now I'm talking to my Scorpio family. What's up? I just want to say thank you for uh, all these amazing views, comments, shares, donations, personal readings. It has been sp a splendid pleasure to have had to have be working with you guys psychically. Okay, I'm about to get rid of PayPal because PayPal and I got some issues going on. So I only accept Cash App and uh, Venmo. So men's gratitude once again to all those that have been um, sending donations my way. So I call upon all our ancestors and guides to be here with us. Okay, we're about to take in three deep breaths to get more mindful, relaxed, receptive, and, and ready for this energetic message. Inhale that good ass prana. And exhale no longer serves you. <sighs> Inhale that good ass prana. And exhale no longer serves you. <sighs> Inhale that good ass prana. And exhale no longer serves you because serve the universe. <sighs> what up, Shiloh? You picking up? I'm, I'm picking up on your energy. I just want to say immense gratitude to all y'all once again, man, for real. But what's up, Shiloh? Good rising, good rising on the mountain. Uh-huh. Good rising. Yes, sisters and guys, keep it simple and plain for our Scorpios. What would you like our Scorpios to know? And sisters and guys, keep it simple and plain for our Scorpios. What would you like our Scorpios to know? And sisters and guys, keep it simple and plain for our Scorpios. What would you like our Scorpios to know? And sisters and guys, keep it simple and plain for our Scorpios. What would you like our Scorpios to know? And sisters and guys, keep it simple and plain. And sisters and guys. Hope you guys had a great week. Definitely check out my virtual magazine. The new issue is up. Okay. It's up, it's up, it's up. So we have two of cups. All right. We have judgment in reverse. And then we have the high priestess in reverse. Okay. You could have just recently entered a new partnership, um, Scorpio. Please make sure um, you trust your intuition because... It would very much so give you a clarity that you need. All right, don't no don't neglect your um divine feminine. Okay, Scorpio. I'm also hearing um not to switch up who you are while you're in this relationship. Okay, still be as if you're your if you were your uh, single self. You know, people have a tendency to um switch up in a relationship to compromise and um settle and to bring down who you are, downplay to, uh, you know, relate and connect in a way that's compromising who you are, all right? You could be having doubts, okay? You could be having overcritical thoughts or you could be um, self-judging yourself around this relationship, all right? You want to release yourself from all insecurities, Scorpio. You are a beautiful woman or a handsome man, Okay, or you could be just judging yourself, you know, in your singlehood and, you know, as you are learning to master you, okay? Peace is important, guys, regardless if you're single or not. You want to be able to own in on your energy and, you know, stand for what you believe in until you get it, okay? And there should be no other way. It shouldn't be like, oh, uh, the devil brought me some temptation, so let me go rock with this nigga even though he's not the nigga that I really want. And vice versa, guys. That's not how it should be, okay? Hold off. Hold your energy. You know, be with yourself. Have your own fucking self-orgasms up until then, man. Straight up. Straight up, man. To all the new Scorpios, welcome. Hit that subscribe button. Okay, hit that thumbs up and leave a comment. Mm -hmm. Clarity's coming back. Yeah, you're going to have clarity about you, your situation of the past, this past partner, can be a business partner or a relationship. I mean, I'm feeling strongly more um, relationship than business, but you know, we still have that here as well. 
Keep it simple and plain, ancestors. Okay. This could be somebody from your past. All right, so, so it could have been someone that was very familiar. Uh, the energy was familiar at one point, but uh, you know, you grew out of it. Uh, nine of swords. Okay, we got 10 of pentacles. All right, and then we have the tower. Okay. Um, yeah, this relationship in the past could have left you worried or this new relationship is having you worried because you're not trusting your intuition and you know, you, you're, you're judging yourself um, and being too overcritical, all right? Because like I said, guys, you want to really release that. Be mindful of the doubts because you have doubts here and then you got doubts here, worry, and anxiety, okay? So definitely someone in the past uh, left you feeling this way. It could be your sister, your mother, your brother, all right? It could definitely very much be family, rela <coughs> family related as well, okay? You know, just allow yourself the space, okay, to ask your inner voice, you know, what are you trying to tell me? You know, ask what you're doing, is it feeding your soul? Because this is very important to know. You could also be around a lot of strong opinionated people right now, okay? And these people's judgment can weigh you down. So definitely be mindful of that as well. Because you have to realize people always have their own opinion, especially if you're a star. I mean, the star card's not here, but you know, people will always have opinion. So just, just, just let them have it. Let them tell the narrative. And see, Scorpio, this is where you're the mastermind. You just gotta let people talk their shit and you gotta know your own shit. You know what I mean? But just know that the clarity of your inner voice will cut through all noise. This is what you need to realize. The clarity of your inner voice will cut through all noise. All right. And with the Ten of Pentacles here, you know, you balling. You you know, you, you, you now, when I see this, how I'm perceiving it now, it's not even just in money. It's in the abundance of the whole spectrum. You know what I mean? Love to animals to you know the whole the whole family okay you got that and that's and that's what's up that's really what's up that's cool that's cool that you um you got you got all of that man that's that's love you know you, you you're living with purpose you know what you're living for and for that i applaud you straight up i applaud you okay now if this business partner was like a a, a, a relative or a friend or somehow, somehow you, have, you guys feel like family or mentor or something of some sort, this person is still avoiding you. This person is failing to, um, uh, uh, failing to reconnect to their intuition still, it seems like. All right, they could be in heavy doubts, be very overcritical, self-judging <clears throat> self themselves as well because they know for, you got, for, you guys to have the Ten of Pentacles together, they're going to have to let go. <laughs> Excuse me. They're going to have to change. And so this is a warning for the crotch watcher. If you do not follow your intuition, okay, um, a lot of disasters coming your way. All right. Through you, if see Scorpio, if you don't, if you didn't follow your intuition, you would be going through a tower. Okay. This person is going through a tower or this is a warning that this person is going to go through a tower. You could be resisting change, okay? Because for some of you guys, I feel like you're gonna have to re, uh, you're gonna have to um, face the person that you ran from again. I still think there's some things that has to be closed out physically, okay? You guys could have closed it out energetically and spiritually, but now it has to play out in the 3D. And I know Scorpio, some of you are like, nah, I don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to hear that shit. To all the new Scorpio, once again, hit that. And to all the Scorpios watching, hit that thumbs up, man. Hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. All right? Leave a comment. And I feel like y'all know it spiritually that this person is going to come back. Y'all could probably pick it up on your intuition or you're neglecting your intuition. Yeah, 
receiving the warnings that this person is going to come back. But I really feel strongly that this person, you know, they're just fair and chance. They're in heavy doubt about this partnership. All right. They're in very much so heavy doubt because they want to have these pentacles with you. But, you know, their secrets is deception. You're very much so aware of it. All right. Your intuition already told you, even if they have not fully validated two of pentacles. All right, they want to bring balance to the situation. The world is working in your favor. All right, you've completed this karmic cycles. You're on, you're on, you're on your own pedestal. You're on your own royalty right now. You're on your own independence shit. You're focusing on prioritizing your goals, building balance to your pentacles. Okay, you can very much so receiving that from the community as well through whatever uh, business platform you have. All right. Six of Cups in reverse, so it came back out in reverse this time. So, you know, you really see them um, truly uh, for who they are. Okay, the rose-colored glasses is very much so off, you feel me? And that is stupendous. That is that is amazing. That is beautiful. All right? You could be healing childhood traumas or they're healing childhood traumas. Okay? Very, very much so. Guys, I really feel like in the energy with the shift in like August and stuff, I feel like a lot of this is going to be closing up and, you know, experiencing some new stuff, which would be awesome because no one deserves, no sign deserves being around somebody that is deceptive and want to keep secrets. But, you know, they think they can hide everything from just anyone and, Scorpios, you guys are the catalyst for change and transformation and growth. And, you know, if anybody that knows how to own in on the darkness, it's definitely y'all as well. So, shoot. They're going through an awakening. Okay? They're very much so. Y'all working on your craft. Y'all working on your garden. You're working on your family unit, your circle, which is great. <laughs> it just popped out the Scorpio card. I just wanted to show y'all. Some of you guys can very much so deal with another Scorpio. Some of you guys can deal with Aquarius, Gemini, Leo, all right, Cancer. But someone's gonna, go, someone's going through a tower moment because they're not trusting their intuition. All right, Crouch Watcher, if you're watching this, you're gonna have to be open to change. All right, you have to awaken to this, but you guys have very much awakened, open to change. You guys got yourself away from this deceptive energy. All right, we have nine of swords reverse. You gained a lot of wisdom. You you know you per, you've been persevering forward. You you know you 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 freed yourself from this Capricorn, this toxic energy, or Taurus or Virgo. All right, you could be a a, a Cappy Moon. You know, shout out to my Cappy Moons that be watching. You know, shout out because you know we have people here that is actually either dating a Capricorn or looking to date a Capricorn. And meanwhile, we have Scorpios with the Cappy Moons. So I think it's really cool, synchronistic, the vibration, don't lie. And um, yeah, man, you guys open your new doors elsewhere. Um, you're breaking free. Hopefully this partner or this crotch watcher, they break free. Still got to heal those trauma wounds though. You got to deal with them. You're going to have to be able to express them and be vulnerable, even though Scorpio knows you got a lot of trauma wounds, all right? Scorpios, y'all being a lot more practical. Y'all tapping in more into your earth sign energy, all right? Maybe from dealing with so many earth signs, y'all know how the game works, okay? Y'all know how the game works through through your environment, which is, which is really, really beautiful, okay? Y'all focusing on your stability. Y'all focusing on your circle. Your circle's small like a period. I just heard Drake. Some of you guys could be bumping Drake, <laughs> OVOXO, <laughs> even though, you know, uh, we, we, we know Scorpios, we, we can be good and positive, all right? We're not going to speak on uh, what, who Drake is as a person, but, you know, as far as his music, it's, it, it, it's going to go a long way. He's been, he's been, you know, hitting these charts for years, so that's good. So, the, you know, us Scorpios, like, we, we just, we got that human relatab relatability, all right? For real, for real. Some of you guys could be feeling like you lack the skills to take you to the next level. Or they're feeling this way. 
All right, there's definitely resentment type of energy. Okay, they're definitely very much so holding on the past, probably feeling claustrophobic and paranoid. All right, some of them could be getting caught by the cops or they could be fearing cops. They definitely want to stay in their comfort zone and what is it that they used to know. Um, you know, uh, crash watchers, y'all gotta make peace, you know, with your fears, man, and move forward towards your bigger dreams. And that can go towards Scorpios too, that are still feeling energies of resentment. Okay. Some of you guys feel like this person's trying to come back. Don't even worry about it. If they're going to come back, let them, let, 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 let them find a way to come back. Even though a lot of y'all got them blocked, y'all moved in a different place. You know, a lot of them want to... I'm picking up strongly. A lot of them just don't know how to express themselves emotionally, okay? That's very, that's something that you guys are very much so in tune to, and they don't know how to express themselves. So, to wrap this up, ancestors and guides, actually. Hold up. Hold up. To wrap this up, ancestors and guides. Let's wrap up this reading. Once again, Scorpios, hit that thumbs up, man. Hit that subscribe button and leave a comment. Let me know what's going on. If you'd like to send an energetic donation, definitely hit that thumbs up. If you'd actually like to send a donation of a dollar or two, I mean a lot to the platform. Everything is in the content description of how I set payments. Okay, if you would like a personal read, email me or hit me up on Instagram. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. I have really dope stuff going on there. And a couple messages to the Divine Feminine uh, yesterday. Okay. Oh, what you already know, man. This is just confirmation. Keep moving forward, advancing forward, tapping into your new prospects, exploring. All right. Having patience. Okay. Y'all made the right decision. Y'all got your own options. Y'all choosing elsewhere. All right. Your back is turned. You ain't with this bullshit. You're grounded. Okay. We have Ace of Swords. And then the world. We have the world twice here. Saturn energy. All right. For real. Mm hmm. Things are going in your favor, man. The wheels. A lot of the wheels turning in your favor. I feel like the karma has shifted. Like I said, since Leo energy, a lot of <laughs> a lot of amazing things have been um very much so taking place. Okay. Yeah. Some of you guys should be celebrating some huge wins soon. We have the Ace of Swords there talking about um, clarity, sacrifice. So that's that's extremely that's extremely um about that's 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 really that's about right. You know what I mean? Now tapping into your poor power, your pure power, you guys are having a, a breakthrough, all right, cutting through all of these challenges. Okay. Shall I see your mountain car? We got the mountains right here. So that we got the Northern Cali mountains right there. <laughs> Let me stop. <laughs> but I just, I just, I just thought of you when I saw that. All right. Good. Get y'all mountain, get y'all mountain on. Get y'all walking on. All right. Health is wealth. Okay. You guys are crown empresses and emperors. All right. That is beautiful. Y'all, y'all, y'all know how to put up a fight. Okay, you guys got a new vision. Your sight is set on it somewhere else, exploring, and it's definitely not around um, topic toxic energies. Okay, it's definitely not around toxic energies. With all this low limitation, low vibrational stuff anymore, y'all definitely, y'all definitely not about that. And right there, Scorpio. Yo, you guys are fully in your awareness. You're fully in your empowerment now. Like, yo, be proud of y'all, man. Be proud. So, no, seriously, be truly proud of y'all because that wasn't like fully like this before. And, you know, that pain, that pain caused a lot of amazing change. Pressure creates diamonds, Scorpio. I love y'all. Once again, definitely hit that thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment. Uh, check out my new virtual magazine. Every Sunday is a new issue. So that was day before yesterday. I didn't do a video. So uh, you guys should be able to check out the new one. Um, if you'd like to send a donation, that would mean a lot to me on the platform. Definitely share this message to other Scorpios. If you'd like to personal read, definitely message me or uh, message me on Instagram. All right. Also follow me on Instagram. And uh, check out my Twin Flame. If you're a Capricorn, check out my Twin Flames Capricorn readings, man. They're really dope. 
Okay, I believe she also does Sagittarius and Aquarius as well. Uh, so she has some stuff up there that's also in the content description below. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video. Peace.